Okay, so I know that there are some people who enjoy my cooking videos, so I'm getting prepared for um, Thanksgiving tomorrow. I'm going to be making some mostly like dessert items and um, prepping for other baking items tomorrow. So I figured I would share that with you guys. Right now I'm making a fruit salad. Something, well, this is the kind of fruit salad I grew up with. And I'm adding cottage cheese in there. That's, I like it with cottage cheese in there. <clears throat> and then a thing of cool whip. Cool, cool whip. whip. Co whip. As Dewey says, co whip. Co whip. Co whip. It's hard to mock it. Okay, so we'll put that there. And then now we're going to put start putting in some fruit. Get the canned fruits to do this with. Gotta drain their liquid first. Okay, so now we can mix it together. Lots of mixing. Lots and lots of mixing. And this is a fruit salad. I would put bananas in it, but they turn all nasty and brown. And I want that. My mom likes nuts in it, and I hate nuts in my food. So I won't do it. So that is the fruit salad. One dish down. I thought I was recording great. So now I'm on to making a chocolate mousse pie, and I'm just... This is the second batter to put in, which I use Jello and uh, Cool Whip mixed in there with milk. It's really good. And then I put you guys on the tripod so I can pour this in like so. There we go. Woo! I think we got a lot in there. Let's see. Might almost have too much. Just perfect. Glad I stopped. So I have some leftovers. So some people, if they want to eat that, they can eat that around the house because it's yummy. <laughs> so now we're going to start with the coconut pie. I'm going to brown some coconut flakes. Toast them. Toast them. Well, they turn brown. They when toast. You toast them. They're getting toasted. They're getting toasted. Hmm, what time is it? It's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> You're about to get toasted. It's beer thirty somewhere. So, you have to watch these suckers, or they will. I've seen this thing. Somewhere Turn toasted. Um, is it on pause? No. Oh, it says I. <laughs> If you listen closely, you can hear it crackling. I didn't know we put Snap, Crackle, Pop in here. Oh, that sounds like me when I get up in the morning. <laughs> snap, Crackle, Pop. They're going to start turning a little brown. I'm just toasting them up so they can go in the pudding filling. I tell you, if you turn your eyes too quickly from these things or too long... They will burn up. Coconut flakes burn up quick. Well, that explains why coconut oil burns up really fast too. That's another oil that you have. That's an oil that you gotta really pay attention to. Here you can see they're starting to turn color. They're getting like a little golden color. I'm gonna try to get like most of them with the golden co color. Man, this flame is hot. flame. 
There we go. More getting golden. Oh, look at that. A bunch of them are golden right there. There they are. Okay. <laughs> go do your voiceover. Look at that. More golden coconuts, slivers, flakes. It's really hot here. I think we're going to call it good on those. Okay, so it's going to be the same concept here with as the um, other pudding. We're going to do vanilla pudding. And then I'm going to um, add in the coconut. i got to throw my trash away. In here. Those have got a nice brown color, right? Um, you want to brown them more? Yeah. Oh, turn it on. I thought it was good. So we're going to add four cups of milk because we've got two packets of pudding. Yeah, I know. It actually... Well, I used to bake them, and then I would forget, and... Burn <laughs> Yeah. They burn up really fast. No joke. Okay. So, uh, my mom's browning those a little more. Whisk together the vanilla pudding. I'm going to add a little bit of Cool Whip to kind of give it a light fluff texture. And then, no, I thought they were brown enough. I mean, I have stuff to stir them with, but. Look what it did. <laughs> he melted the spoon. All right, now we got our coconut to put in here because we like tote the nut. Did you say from, for, some for the top? I'll make that for later tomorrow. Right here. Okay. Woo! See all that steam going? It's a lot of coconut. That moves in. This is my eye. I think a cat is right. Okay, so now we're ready to put it into the pie. Let's see how full that is. Definitely can use more. Ugh, coconut cream pies are one of my favorites, and banana cream pies. And then lemon meringue pies. I need to make a lemon meringue pie. Oh, voila! There it is. Three desserts done so far. Okay, now we're going to make this cherry delight thing, which I've never made, but my mom uh, would make stuff like this. So, in this bowl, we are going to... Put the graham cracker in. This is forming the crust. And then it also says it needs half a cup of confectioner sugar and one fourth cup of melted butter. Okay, so we got the sugar and the melted butter. I've never made a crust like this before, so this is going to be different. You're supposed to mix it together. It seems like you would have more um, butter in there so you can... I might have to put more butter because I think I have too much graham cracker. Okay, that should be good, because I'm doubling the recipe. I like to have plenty of food, and I think this will be a popular dish, so I double it. I'm going to put it in here, so I can better mix it around. And my hands are clean, so I have to press this, but I think I will use... A um, 
sandwich bag. Press it down. Oh, it's going together well. Oh, well, I thought I was recording again and I wasn't. <laughs> So we're on to making the cream cheese part. And we gotta put cream cheese in the bowl. Actual cream cheese. Boop. Do two of those. Remember, do you wanna put in the, I need two cups of that confectioner sugar. Or you don't wanna help. Oh, yeah, oh, okay. It's fine. It's supposed to be room temp, but it's cold in the house, so it's never going to get to... That is my room temp. Cold. And then a thing of Cool Whip goes in here again, which I need another spoon for that. Okay, so put the Cool Whip in there. Hmm. Okay, and two cups of sugar. All right. Whoa, there we go, it's about two cups. And then I believe you just blend it together. Let's see what it says. Yep, blend together. There we go. So we're blending it, and I'm gonna save you guys from the sound, so I'm gonna stop recording here. here. In with the pie crust that I made. Get this all spread out in here. Tastes super delish. Wow, Thanksgiving is so fatty. I did use light Cool Whip though. <laughs> ah! Okay, so we'll get this spread out here. Just spread it because my graham cracker is coming back up. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever made this. Of course, it's not going to be easy for me. Okay, we're getting better. Getting closer to being done. It's working out well so far. Yeah! Look at this. This is going to taste so yummy. I just want to eat it now. I hope you guys are enjoying my desserts. This is pretty much it for my homemade desserts this year. I'm not making the pumpkin pie or the pecan pie because I bought those. And now I just got to add the cherries to this. Okay, so now we're going to put the cherry filling on top. It's a pie filling that goes on there. I'm so glad I bought two cans of this because at first I only bought one and then I remembered I was doubling the recipe. So I better buy two. So I bought two. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Just smoothing out the best part. Oh my goodness. Why can't Thanksgiving be today? Because this looks so yummy. So yummy. Uh, I think this is going to be very good. Oh yes. There we go. Okay. Oh, we're done! I hope you guys enjoyed me making... Baking desserts with me, although there wasn't much baking. And thank you so much for watching.